Hello, my little rabbits. Pat Flynn here, back again. And today I want to ask you a question. This is perhaps one of the most important questions that you will ever be asked. And that question is this. If you only had 15 minutes per day, three days per week to reach your goal, what would you do? Now, in a minute, I'm going to help you answer this question with respect to fitness. If you only had 15 minutes per day, three days per week, what should you do? What should your workouts be? Well, I'm going to tell you because I'm just a nice guy and I'm gonna give you a program humbly called the Flinimalist to help you to be the ultimate fitness minimalist. How do you like that? But first, a little bit about this question. I think this question is so important and it's also extremely versatile. You can use this question to help you to find priority in all areas of life. You can use this 15 minute per day, three day per week question to help you focus on performing the efforts that get you the best results. Being a minimalist, it's all about finding that intersection between effectiveness, doing the right things, and efficiency, doing things right. Oftentimes, our lives get exceedingly cluttered. We get caught up doing a bunch of stuff that just isn't that effective, or if we're doing stuff that is effective, we're not doing it that efficiently. So the idea of this question is to help you to eliminate clutter. It helps you to pull weeds out of your life so that way you can focus and get results. Of course, you can put in more effort than just 15 minutes a day, three days per week, but the idea is if you shrink the amount of time that you give yourself to get something done, generally you will be more productive. There's a name for that. It's called Parkinson's Law, that work expands to fulfill the amount of time allotted to it. So the idea is if you impose boundaries, pressing boundaries and time constraints on the activities that you do to reach the goals that you want, inherently, almost automatically, you will become more effective and efficient with those activities. Now, if you don't know what to do, if you were asked this question in relation to fitness or becoming better at a musical instrument or learning another language or improving your business and you don't know what to do, this is a good question to help you figure out whether you need a coach or a mentor. If you say, I have no idea what I would do if I only had 15 minutes a day, three days a week to reach my goal, then you need to ask somebody who does because you're just flying blind. And so this is a great question to help orient you either internally with the resources you already have to prioritize and be effective and efficient, or externally to find some sort of coach or mentor that can help provide you with the framework that you need to be effective and efficient, to be a true minimalist. Now, let us turn our attention to fitness. Say you want to be not just a fitness minimalist, but a generalist. You have 15 minutes per day, three days per week to work out. What should you do? Well, if you're here, you probably guessed my answer. And the answer is going to be kettlebell complexes but I'm going to give you two specific kettlebell complexes to perform in just a minute. First, why kettlebell complexes? Well, if we are super time crunched and we really only have 15 minutes a day, three days per week to work out, then I wanna get the biggest bang for my workout buck. I want workouts that are going to tax the entire body that will allow me to use big exercises, exercises with a high degree of neuromuscular facilitation that will burn a mountain of calories and promote lean functional muscle growth. Kettlebell complexes, allow you to work through different exercises, pushing, pulling, hinging, squatting, while keeping the system under a sustained period of stress, the heart, the lungs, the kidneys, it's all working, it's all going. So you create a profound metabolic afterburn, EPOC as it is sometimes referred to, exercise post oxygen consumption. So you not only get the benefits of traditional strength training, but you also experience the benefits of metabolic conditioning or that prolonged metabolic effect so you continue to burn calories at an elevated rate even when you are done working out. The kettlebell complex is really, for me, the ultimate secret weapon for the fitness minimalist to get the biggest bang for buck return with the least amount of time and the least amount of equipment. Now I promised you, because I am a nice guy, that I would give you two complexes that you can use in a framework called the flimalist to satisfy the criteria of being a fitness minimalist. The two complexes are as follows. First, I would recommend Dan John's Armor Building Complex and Pat Flynn, that's me, his very famous, very awesome, very good, great destroyer complex. Now, how you structure these is really important and I'll explain that in just a minute. You will essentially alternate these complexes over the course of two weeks, but for now, let me tell you why I picked these complexes. Dan John's Armor Building Complex is a great complex as it focuses on strength and power. It is a strength and power complex, heavy weight, low rep, three exercises. You have the double clean, the double press, and the front squat performed for two reps, one rep, and then three reps. The press is just one rep, so it will naturally be the limiting factor because the press should be weaker than the squat, 
But since it's one rep versus two and three reps, you should be able to really push the weight with this, which you must do. So that is a great complex that emphasizes strength and power, but because it is a complex, you will get a great conditioning benefit from it as well. The Great Destroyer is much higher rep. You'll perform essentially 10 exercises across all the big double kettlebell exercises. I want you doing double swing, double snatch, double front squat, that's two kettlebells in the rack front squat, double clean and press, bend over row, push up, 10 reps, no rest between. It is absolutely devastating and brutal. This has not only a profound metabolic effect, but it is very effective for building lean muscle, hitting that hypertrophy sweet spot. So you wanna make sure that you push the weight with this relative to the reps that are prescribed, 10 reps across the board. Okay, so you have one complex that is great for strength and power, another one that focuses more on muscle, hypertrophy, and endurance. Both have tremendous conditioning effects. How do you structure them to get the most out of these routines? I recommend for the fit flinimalist, for the blah, 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 the flinimalist, you will go A, B, A for week one, and then B, A, B for week two. Classic split, super effective. So week one, your A complex is armor building. Your B complex is the Great Destroyer. So you'll perform armor building on Monday, Great Destroyer on Wednesday, armor building on Friday, and then you just flip that around for the second week. You'll go Great Destroyer on Monday, armor building on Wednesday, and then Great Destroyer again on Friday. I recommend training on non-consecutive days. So spread it out, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, something like that is just fine. Now we have 15 minutes per day. So what do you do? Well, you perform as many rounds of each complex as possible, given the amount of time that is allotted, which is 15 minutes. So 15 minutes, as many rounds as possible on Monday of whatever complex is assigned, same thing on Wednesday, same thing on Friday. So that's the bare bones flinimalist program. Three days a week, 15 minutes per day, you have to use intensity. This is, listen friends, look at me, look, at, look in my eye. This is really important. If you are not putting in as much time in the weight room, then you must put in more intensity. You have to push it hard. You have to push the pace of the sets and you have to push the amount of weight that you're using. Obviously these things are somewhat at odds. The more weight you use, the more demanding the sets and the more rest you feel you will need. You need to push them both as much as you can, but only to the extent that you can still maintain good technique. There you have it. The flinimalist, A-B-A-B-A-B, armor building, great destroyer. Take it, use it, get awesome results, strong on.